Good morning. So today we are going to do an intro to inverses. So you should have already done your stuff with your exponentials, trying to find the rate, things like that. So this is our intro to inverse functions. And inverse functions are, inverse means the opposite. So like in the cha-cha slide where they go reverse, reverse, we are doing the same sort of thing. So we need to first talk about inverse operations. Let me draw my line. So inverse operations. So the normal operations, we're either, we're adding, we're multiplying, we're taking the square of something. The inverse is the opposite. So the opposite of addition is subtraction. The opposite of multiplication is division. And the opposite of squared is the square root. So these functions, knowing what their opposites are, are going to come in handy later. So the definition we're going to be using for inverse function is, so for inverse function is a function that undoes the other. So for example, what I mean by undoes is say we have f of x equals x plus 3. We want a function that undoes that, which is the opposite. So for the function that would undo it, it would be x minus 3. So technically, if you were to compose them and find f of g of x, you would get x. And that's a way to check it. If you find f of g of x, you should just get x. So they undid each other, so all that's left is the variable. So we're, I'm going to show you how to actually find it. So example one, find the inverse. So I'm going to go step by step in thinking about how to do this. So this is going to come with a lot of algebra skills. So the first step is going to be the new step. Everything else is going to be algebra that you've already learned. So that's the cool thing about inverses. So say we have f of x equals 2x plus 5. Remember, f of x is the same thing as saying y. So these two things are the same thing. And this is important to remember because of step one. So the first step, the weird step that is the most important step is you want to switch x and y. So what I mean by that is where my y is, I'm going to now have x. So I'm going to have x equals 2. Where my x is, I'm now going to have my y plus 5. And the reason we do this is because the inverse will give us the opposite. So by switching our x and y, we're going to be able to find the equation that undoes the other. So this is the most important step. And the next step is stuff you already know how to do. So step two, you're going to solve. And normally you're used to solving for x, but it's already solved for x. So you're going to solve for y. So looking at my equation, I have x equals 2y plus 5. So I want to get this y alone. So my first step, 
So I want to look at what's not touching my Y first as far away as poss possible. So I had that five. I want to do the opposite to get rid of it. So I subtract five from both sides. I'm going to draw my little line because I know that helps me. So now I have X minus five equals two Y. Now this two is multiplying. So the opposite is division. So I divide each side by two. So I have X minus five over two. So this one, like whenever you're dividing, I can't actually divide anything. So I'm just gonna rewrite it equals Y. My Y is alone now, which means this is our last step. This step is mostly gonna be done for you because it's really hard to write in the computer world, um, but it's to rewrite. So the way you say you found an inverse function is by adding a little negative one to your function. So I have f of negative one of x. So I started with f of x. I add this exponential looking negative one, and this means inverse. This means that this is the inverse of f. And then we found it up here. It's our x minus 5 over 2. So you're going to do a couple practice problems. We're going to get a little bit trickier with these tomorrow, but I just want you to start off figuring, okay, can I do this? Do I figure out how to do x versus y? And so forth. So have a good day.